On Monday, members of Parliament from all parties in the UK debated cannabis law reform at Westminster Hall. The discussion came as a response to an online petition to legalize a plant signed by more than 224,000 people. Liberal Democrat MP Paul Flynn, who published an article in the Mirror Sunday calling for an end to cannabis prohibition, started the debate criticizing the government for their initial response to what he called the thunderously eloquent petition. Quote, the response from the government has been trite something that could have been written 20 years ago, and doesn't live up to the knowledge and experience and the great work that's been done. Flynn continued to make his case for legalization by pointing out that the government can't even keep drugs out of prisons. He added that we're looking at a failure that's been going on in this country for 45 years, and the government is in denial. Flynn said current laws put the market in the hands of criminals who exploit their customers. He proposed that the sensible way forward is to replace that market with one that is state-controlled which can keep drugs out of the hands of vulnerable people, including those with mental health problems, the young and pregnant women, and so on. He added that nobody is asking for a free-for-all, but it's ludicrous to call cannabis a controlled substance when it's totally out of control. Flynn then pointed to the Netherlands, where cannabis is illegal but still available for purchase. According to Flynn, cannabis use in Holland is far less than it is in the UK. Looking west, the MP described the success of legalization in American states, like Colorado, including a decrease in traffic fatalities and steady overall use. Finally, Flynn talked about the incredible medical abilities of cannabis, including the plant's capacity to alleviate the symptoms of MS. Next up to speak was Tory MP Peter Lilly, who supports legalizing cannabis for medical use. He noted that Queen Victoria allegedly used cannabis to relieve menstrual pains. Lilly joked that if it's a Victorian value, surely it should be made more readily available. Furthermore, the MP said there's no evidence that cannabis is a gateway drug, Instead, he says prohibition forces cannabis consumers to buy from dealers who also sell hard drugs. Lilly further made a case for reform by pointing out that it's surely better that cannabis is readily available but regulated than unregulated and readily available anyway. MPs Paul Monaghan and Dr. Daniel Poulter also discussed the compelling evidence of the plant's potential medical benefits. However, Tory MP Poulter, who claims to have never tried cannabis, said he still can't fully support legalization. He also has an issue with increased pot potency, which Flynn argued was a result of prohibition. According to Poulter, high THC cannabis use correlates with psychosis and other mental illnesses, a claim that is heavily disputed by recent studies. Later, SNP MP Dr. Lisa Cameron also voiced her concern for the brains of cannabis users, particularly young ones. She cited a study claiming that daily cannabis consumers are five times as likely to develop depression later in life. In the second half of the debate, Norman Lamb, contender for the leadership of the Liberal Democrats, compared the dangers and policies of alcohol and cannabis. He noted that alcohol is far more dangerous and deadly than weed. Lamb also said at least half of government has probably tried cannabis, which independent MP Lady Herman called unrealistic. He replied saying, of course it's speculation, but the fact is that very many young people choose to take cannabis. Green MP Caroline Lucas also made a case for cannabis legalization arguing that a legal regulated model would solve many drug crime issues. Finally, Conservative Justice Minister Mike Penning took the floor. According to Penning, the number of people who signed the cannabis petition is unremarkable. He says many in the UK are opposed to the idea, but there is no petition for them to sign. He added that he's not going to stand here and say we're going to legalize cannabis. He's not going to say that from a moral position, from a personal position, or from a government position. According to Penning, the science of cannabis isn't clear. Quote, There is always going to be one expert in one part of the world saying one thing, and another in another part of the world saying another thing. Lucas replied, saying it's shocking how the Tory minister appears to have little interest in the evidence currently available. After criticism from several MPs, including Flynn and Lamb, Penning admitted that he will never change his view. However, he conceded that the government could research the effects of current drug legislation. Despite a resounding no to legalization from the Tories, the Liberal Democrats now plan to set up an expert panel to establish how cannabis could be legalized in the UK. The committee will study legal weed markets in other countries like the US and Uruguay, and then make recommendations for the party's conference next year.